Last year, we took the trust the challenge. challenge. How did we get into that? We were, well, you weren't. I was at church um, the Sunday that it was offered, and Pastor Nate, his service and challenge for the trust challenge was very moving. Um, so I decided to take that um, challenge as a personal challenge, but also as a challenge for the family. So I signed us up for it and come home from church that Sunday and told Jay, surprise, we're taking the, the trust challenge. And it, I think it was the best thing that we've ever done. Um, I agree. Yeah. I was really nervous at first and uh, yeah. I was kind of thinking, man, I wish you'd have talked to me about this, but uh, it's probably a good thing that we didn't and we just, just went for yeah, it. dove in head first and yeah. from that point on, you know, I can't even begin to, a lot of you already know, but I mean, we were just blessed end over end, time and time again. It was again, over, overwhelming. Overwhelming. It was totally overwhelming. overwhelming. Probably the most significant thing that happened out of the challenge for us as a family was um, we had um, some very loving people sow financial seeds into our life that allowed us to get our son back in my firstborn back into our lives and because of that he's actually living with us now full time. He's here right now in the other room and that's a situation that never know, thought would happen. Yeah, I had never tried to handle that myself for the better part of 10 years and you know to no avail couldn't get anything done couldn't make any headway and uh it was one of those things I, I came home spent some time by myself in the bedroom kind of praying and crying out to god told him you know i tried everything i could try and now i just leave it up to you and i think it was probably i think it was like 48 hours later we had somebody swoop in and purchase us tickets to go out and visit him, which was a prerequisite to, you know, have beginning, begin, the beginning process of getting him back into our lives. And, you know, shortly, shortly thereafter, everything was taken care of from the flights to the hotels to the car room. Car, everything. And then that was really just, I mean, that was the biggest thing, but it was, the whole, the whole episode for us was really awe-inspiring and life-changing. I mean, we had, like a 300 three four hundred dollar credit show up in our power yeah just out of out of nowhere you gotta pay the power bill and I'm sorry you don't have a bill um, we went <laughs> I, I think what? we actually went three months without having to pay our power bill because there was just there's credit yeah you know it's, it's it's that is a tough spot to be in when all the bills are due and the bottom line tells you there's no room for a tithe you know, something's gonna have to get bumped, something's not gonna get paid, something's yeah. not gonna get taken care of, you know, the stress level rises, and the whole point of it is you got to go to that place of being uncomfortable and kind of being fearful to really appreciate, I think, the magnificence of what God can pull off. You do, you really have to step out of your comfort zone um, and just take that step and know that, okay, I can pay, you know, I can pay this bill or I can go grocery shopping and feed the kids or I can tithe, well, which one is it? And just knowing that I can pay my tithe and everything else will be okay. 